Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Semenite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again today in the National Building Museum. And it's the first day of National Engineer Week, and I just wanted to be able to do a, a short video and tell you how much I appreciate everything the Corps of Engineers does. The theme of this week, uh, in, in the bigger spectrum, is let's make a difference. But our Corps of Engineer motto is let's make a difference through professionalism and integrity. And I'm telling you, the Corps of Engineers has made a difference. Our country is 240 years old. Our Corps of Engineers is 241 years old. These books are replete with all kinds of great accomplishments that we've done. Anywhere from westward expansion, building our inland waterway system, be able to take care of building NASA facilities, Washington, D.C., and also supporting our war fighters through several years of conflict. So the Corps always has stepped up when there's been really, really hard tasks. And we've been a professional organization, we've been an organization with integrity, and we continue to stand on the shoulders of those who have served before us. When you think about where we are today, right now, you that are watching this video, what are we doing in our short window to be able to make a difference in the Corps? And I'm asking you that one of the most important things we can do is deliver the program. We've got to have technical competence. We've got to have the integrity of this there. But we've got to understand what are we going to do to continue to provide quality engineering on time and within cost. And at the end of the day, we just went through a large administration change. We know there's a lot of requirements in this country, but this nation needs organizations like the Corps of Engineers to find innovative solutions of how we can stretch our federal dollars and to continue to have sustainable solutions that take care of our taxpayers and our environment. I, I was just uh, the other day they walked in and uh, in celebration of this week, we're actually sending uh, three-star notes out to all of those that have got their professional engineer license. And I've got 120 letters here ready to send to great Corps of Engineer employees who have stepped up to improve their credentials, who have said, it's not good enough for where I'm at. How can I do better to be able to continue to have more skills to be able to help make the Corps a better place? You think about the future, what's the Corps of Engineers doing to help take care of the future? And maybe the future is innovative building technology and ways we can be more sustainable, but maybe the most important thing we can do is to be able to help set the next generation up for success to follow in our footsteps. So I'd ask you to continue to support STEM activities. There are children out there in classrooms right now in grade schools, middle schools, high schools, and colleges that we need in the core in the out years to continue to do the great work that you've already set, to continue this tradition to go on for another 241 years. So wherever you can find ways of doing that, I'd encourage you to help make a difference. Yeah, I'm gonna just end with a, a short, uh, short vignette. Two weeks ago, I was called to the White House for a big meeting between all the most senior cabinet officials from the outgoing administration and the incoming administration. They would both sit side by side. And during the breaks and before and after the meeting, I went around and I tried to introduce myself to as many people as I could. And I said, Todd Semenite, Corps of Engineers. And I can't tell you how many times people have said, boy, you guys are always stepping up. You're taking on the tough jobs. Thanks for what you're doing. That's not us here in Washington, D.C. That's all of you all around the Corps that continue to be able to make a difference every single day for our nation. Our nation needs the United States Army Corps of Engineers. We need to celebrate this week. We need to celebrate everything we've done, but we can't rest on our laurels. We've got to be a world-class organization, and we've got to think ahead to the next generation. So I'm going to end by just saying, we're Army strong, we're building strong, but it's organizations like the Corps of Engineers with integrity and professionalism that are going to continue to keep America strong. Thanks for everything you're doing.